Timothy Book 12 here, and welcome to a bit of Fallout 4. Uh, there has been a mod that I've been really looking forward to for a while, uh, and it just released, so I am going to be jumping in and playing it for the first time. It's a lovely day here in Sanctuary Hills. I've not really done a lot with Sanctuary in this save, I've mostly been living out of Hangman's Alley. Um, so if it kind of looks untouched, then that's why. Broken pocket watch and a TARDIS key. Oh, you can equip the watch. What if you equip it? Oh. Okay, so I need to locate the homing beacon. Uh, oh, quite high strength. It must be pretty close. Uh, maybe the junkyard? That was... Oh no, that's getting fainter. Uh, maybe just over Sanctuary Bridge then? I'm getting close. Ah yes, there it is. Sweet. Ooh. Ooh, okay. You feel the symbiotic nuclei established the moment you set foot inside the control room, telepathically linking the TARDIS to your mind. Your memories flash and burn with the recent experiences of the TARDIS matrix. It tells you that it's an old vessel with basic systems but can be upgraded with rudimentary plans found throughout the wasteland. Or it's a brand new model with basic systems but the upgrade plans can be found in the engineering now. This is basically a choice between slowly upgrading the TARDIS over time. You'll get a, a mission to find a plan every like 24 to 48 hours. This one is the quick skip, uh, and you'll find all the plans downstairs in the uh, the depths. Uh, I'm going to pick that one just for the the purposes of the video. Like I've already technically I've already gone through it on this save. Um, this I'm on my second regeneration already. Zigzag plotter. Helmet regulator, uh, space time throttle. I've only got low speed at the moment, so it's not upgraded. Lockdown and handbrake. Fuck. Zigzag plotter, helmet regulator, space time throttle, lockdown. Ah. What? Oh, the doors are... <laughs> well, tell me to shut the door, then! For goodness sake. You know, the, uh, the nerd cube method with this mod was just to run circles around the uh, the console. I, I don't I don't really like doing that. I, I do that a little bit, but... I more prefer to just uh, edge my way around. <laughs> Ah, now this is the new, new thing they've added. Use the deep scan control to search for anomalies and wander the fourth dimension. The blueprint squad to match your control and blah blah blah. Yeah, so I've already got all of those. So I should be able to upgrade. So I might just leave these open. Right, so now we're fully upgraded. That means I can do uh, some configuration, so I can change the lighting to purple. Oh, I do like that actually. <laughs> Not just because it's on brand, but just just that actually does look quite nice in purple. Um, there's also the desktop configurator somewhere. That one. Um, I don't know what grandfather is. I don't think I've looked at. Oh, oh no, grandfather. Grandfather is. Uh, the first Doctor's console room, I believe. But then what's original? I don't know what original is. Toyota's the 11th and 12th Doctor's TARDIS. Um, Coral is the 9th and 10th Doctor's TARDIS, which I haven't actually had a look at yet. I want, uh, 
Let's, uh, let's have a look at that one, shall we? Chameleon interface, there it is. Uh, so, yeah, we've got... It's currently in Mark II, which is the one with the grey... The, like the round capsule with the like the grey edges. That's sort of the version that we see in... Um, Name of the Doctor, I think. And then Mark One is it's a white version. Not really. I'm not really. I, I, the the <laughs> the mod makers would be able to go through the law stuff way differently than I can. Um, and then we got ninth, nine and ten Doctors Tardis, eleventh Doctors, eleventh, twelfth, and then thirteenth. Oh, I'm going for the two thousand five console room. So let's go for the two thousand five exterior. Also, I have no idea where I am. I could be literally just walking out into uh, combat right now. Oh. Ah, this is one of the, the random little floating rafts out in the middle of the ocean. I assume... Yeah, I'm just south of Spectacle Island. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Why is it... It looks like an orange on the console there, that's quite funny. Oh man. Oh, let's see what the different lighting looks like. Oh, so you, you can't change the colours, you can just change the... Uh... So this is more like the night... night... Well, it's not that dim, is it? A bit lighting off. Yeah, that's sort of like Ninth, ninth Doctor's ish, sort of like gloomy, not very well lit. Configure floor... Ah, okay, that's how you change the lighting colour. No, but it's still kind of so. It just it kind of changes the under lighting, but like the actual console it still self stays aqua. Think console. That's the lighting color. Oh wait. Oh, so you can change. Oh, hang on. Oh, so you can change the color of the. Co oh. Oh, the orange and that actually really looks quite nice. <laughs> the orange and purple mix. You can go for like the. Uh, like that. Ooh. So this one's this this one's got like like two sets of lighting. You can do like under lighting and stuff as well. That's actually really cool. I like that. Like red with purple under lights. Oh, oh, that is that is nice. However, as nice as this is. There is another console that I was very excited to uh, look at. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh man, you can't believe how how happy this makes me. <laughs> uh, I I am such a sucker for for like the nineteen eighties Doctor Who stuff and just. Seeing this this console room like in the well, not in the flesh, but you know what I mean. Sort of just like here, oh, that makes me so happy. Uh, I really wish you had like an eighties like external TARDIS to go with it, but I, I, I'm you know I'm happy. Uh, purple, so that's on brand. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, oh, that does look quite nice. <laughs> What are, the, what are these options? Uh, off, I'm guessing that's going to be like... Yeah, this is sort of like... Um, seventh Doctor. <laughs> sort of like... <laughs> TARDIS, this sort of... Like console room just sort of being thrown together at the last minute. What about orange? What's orange and light? Oh, Yeah, I, I like orange. That looks cool. I should really like that. <laughs> I might stick with this one. I think, I think the gold looks quite nice. It's like pur purple's like umbra. I mean, you can see my UI is all purple, but I I like it. It's, it's it's like it's like a gold Tardis. Oh, uh, one other thing we can do as well. Uh, the telepathic circuits. I can sync my Pit Boy locations, so I can just load in all of the uh, all of the places the Tardis can possibly land without having to go through them all, uh, just through random flight. So I'm gonna do that. So now the navcom, wherever that is, uh, navcom, 
that now has all of the all of the various locations in it. What I am going to have to do manually is uh, go around with the uh, where is it? Ah, there we go. The TARDIS Navicon data store. So you can use this uh, at any location, and that will. And then you can save uh, location for the TARDIS to land in. You used to get three of these. Oh, there'd be three separate discs, and then whichever one you selected would be where the TARDIS would land. They changed this in a slightly later version. So now you get 26 locations. And I've got a little text document with uh, all of my locations saved on it. Oh. Hello? Distress signal detected. Action required. I'm gonna need more to go on here. Signal patterns consistent with TARDIS technology. High probability of stranded time capsule. Mm -hmm. I can help. Where is it? Transmission originates from within time vortex. Coordinates have been calculated and transferred to NAVCOM. I'm on it. It's as good as done. Deep scan analysis concluded. Sweet. Okay, so we've got our first mission. It's a big pot. Oh, another one. Oh. Oof. Oh. Don't drift course, I'm on a mission. Alright. So, what could possibly be outside this door? find out. Oh! There's a random Zayton here. Excellent. It's a nice source of some uh, alien blaster rounds if, if people needed those. Oh! Oh! Ah, I'm, guess <laughs> I'm guessing it was supposed to trigger over there, but because I uh, I vatsed ahead with Blitz, it, uh, it didn't trigger. Contact established. Please state the designation you ascribe to within the Perdition Protocol. Solus represents hope, peace and freedom. Solitude represents doom, war, and isolation. Well, I mean, I'd like to think I'm the first one. Uh, let's, th let's think. What, 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 what has this character done in their in their time in the Commonwealth? Uh, I mean, we've 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 freed the synths from the Institute. That's that's pretty that's pretty uh, hopeful, peaceful, and free. I mean, you know, we're we're friends with the the Minutemen. Yeah, Solace. Identity confirmed as Solace. The Perdition Protocol, named after the peaks of Gallifrey, was established to maintain Time Lord governance over splintered timelines. Two agents representing the Enmity of Ages are seeded within the timeline and activated when a divergence occurs. Your contact with Solitude has been lost. Your orders are to enter the ruins of their TARDIS and retrieve any memories associated with the Perdition Protocol. Understood. Right, so I'm guessing I need a code, or maybe I've just got to guess. Alright, guess. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, three's right. Three... Uh... Five? Oh, okay, three, three five. Um... One? Oh shit! Wow. Okay. Uh, I genuinely that was just a guess. Um, fuck. Well, now what? Uh, two. Am I just getting incredibly lucky right now? I. I 
Uh... Oh, but wow. Okay. G genuinely, I didn't know that. That was just that was complete guesswork. <laughs> I just got super lucky there. Oh, a lot of uh, hypercubes in here. Oh, God. Ow. Mm. Oh. Swimming section. Good job I got Aqua Boy. Do these. Oh, okay, that was right. I really hope it doesn't when we go back and forth multiple times. That would be really annoying. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna hope this <laughs> one out. Ah. Oh. Blaster pistol. And they clearly uh, killed themselves. The memories of solitude, your morally repugnant twin operative, burn through your mind. Thousands of fleeting images flash before your eyes. You see them igniting disputes between Silurians and sea devils, abandoning helpless Zaytan refugees, and leading pockets of humanity into the onslaught of the cyber wars. Countless acts of callousness and villainy flood your consciousness. Just before the feed cuts out, you see glimpses of a pocket watch. A small pre-war village, and a figure you feel eerily familiar with. Oh. Does that mean... Somebody... Somebody else is a Time Lord? Operative memories retrieved and bonded to Matrix Telepathic Substrata. The Perdition Protocol remains in place. Your standing orders are to continue resolving any anomalies detected by the TARDIS deep scan. We will make contact again if we require further intervention. Alright. Alright, so I just came up here to uh, help Sunshine Tidings co-op and I got a message that I have uh, received a new communication in the TARDIS. So let's go and check that. The phone is ringing. What have we got here? Incoming message detected. I don't understand what's going on. Analysis indicates message contains memory filter. Recollection not guaranteed. Let's get the source of the transmission. I have a bunch of different places I can go to. I believe Kendall Hospital is a location the TARDIS can land in, so let's uh, go there, I guess. Oh shit. Trying to be not good, not good. Ah, oh, sugar. Oh. 
Ooh, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, please don't fall off. <laughs> Vats just kept triggering that. Oh, I kept trying to trigger Vats there, but I, because I was slipping, the game uh, kept resetting it. Broken lift, silent chapel. Ooh, hello. Hey there. <laughs> just scratched his head. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sure. Esteemed Wanderer, I am dismissing with utmost urgency, seeking your assistance in a most dire predicament. I was bestowed with the solemn duty of absolving those that dwell across this forsaken planet, a world plagued by sin. A breakaway faction known as the Silence has infiltrated my time ship and stolen its control discs, rendering it inert and me stranded. Without them, I am but a lost soul, drifting amidst the chaos, unable to fulfill my sacred pilgrimage. I beseech you, O Wanderer, to lend me your aid in recovering the stolen control discs, so that I may return to the papal mainframe and complete my divine mission. The silence thrives in shadows, manipulating the threads of time and memory. They were elusive and cunning, capable of hiding in plain sight. But fear not, dear Wanderer. For your indomitable spirit shall be our guiding light in this dark hour. Seek them out the coordinates attached to you with. Let not the weight of this burden dissuade you, for the universe will bear witness to your violent efforts. May the celestial forces guide your steps, Wanderer. With unwavering hope, will you? Right. Okay. So I've got to retrieve the control discs now. Where are they? Uh. Oh, is that one in Far Harbor? Federal Russian stockpile. Uh, relay tower on DL-109. I think that's where we're station for that. Uh, ah, Wilson Automatons Factory. I think I've been there recently, so that might be clear. Ooh, a legendary raider. I definitely want to say hello to him. Oh! Yeah, safe crackers. It's leather as well. <laughs> Metal, it's even worse. Eh, well, I can sell it, I suppose. Ah, oh, and here's Oberlin Station. Probably one of my uh, my favourite settlements that I've built in this uh, in this uh, save. Got the lovely like stone walls. Got the little uh, turrets over the entrance door here. And then you walk up and you're in like a little market plaza. Which... I believe it was like, the, it needs to be a bit more lit up, but I could probably do some like, uh, street lights or something in here. And then we've got the actual little station. you got your, your little ticket office here, and then you got a waiting room. A little, uh, dolly with some suitcases on the platform. I love Oberlin Station. Oh. Aha. See a silent. Man, high stealth is. Oh. oh. Just gonna merge right into him there, there we go. Ooh. Speaking of which. Hey buddy. Hi. Please. I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? Uh Oh, do I not have any on me? Oh, I think I dumped it all off, didn't I? Uh Nope. Sorry. I see. It's nothing personal, I just literally don't have any on me. Um, I've got a perfectly preserved pie, you can have that. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally, I dumped all my water off in the uh, in Sanctuary before I, start, <laughs> before I started recording. Um, 
Sorry, pal. Uh, maybe another time. Well, hang on. I might be able to get some from the Federal Russian stockpile so I can, I can bring some back to him if he's still there. Oh, hello. Sorry, Doggo. Oh, I still got a power on that person with a knife. <laughs> The turret's going for me. Front side. Hello. Oh. That was almost like a Call of Duty takedown. Think you can hide? Lose the people. Ah! Just shut that radio up. Where is it? I mean, I think it's fine. I think like they're uh... ah, it's up there. I think they're like. Oh, did I get silent? Oh, I did. <laughs> I got him with that grenade. Nice. Oh, purified water. There we go. I knew there should be some purified water in here. All right, back out the way we came. Now, is he still here? Uh. No, he's not. He's been replaced with a bunch of raiders. Alright, well. <clears throat> Fire from above! <laughs> oh, that was easy. Ooh, refusion cool. Oh, yeah. And another group of oh, gunners. Same method as before. Yeet! Oh, that can be very short. Try again. Yeet! Oh, you're stim packing yourself, you little cheek. <coughs> <laughs> Three in one. Oh, Sean. Hey, Sean. When I'm older, can I explore with you? Sure. What's new, kid? Hey, Dad. Can you do something for me? Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. If you could find me a hot plate, I'd love to take it apart. I want to try and make something. For you. Sure thing, Sean. Oh, Thanks, I'm covered in blood. Turn the wrong way, fool. Oh, he still managed to suck my blood, though. Wait. He's, like, alive, but not. He's, like, stunned. <laughs> he can't die. Alright, well. Don't kill me. I can't go him, so... Right. Let's see... Now we're looking 100 on the board. Good. Uh, pop in the Navcom data store and go to Coastal Cottage. Or uh, Boastal Bottage, as I've had to put it in us, because uh, <laughs> I already had County Crossing as, as a C, so. Take the Navcom data store back out. So I can give myself a fast travel location in Far Harbour. Taping a chef hat. That's what I was I getting up to before I regenerated?